Wild horses at Theodore Roosevelt National Park remains uncertain, with the period for public comment ending on January 31st. Park officials are considering either reducing the population of horses significantly or removing them from the park entirely. Officials say they lack a legal basis to keep horses at the park. WDAY news reporter Mike McGurin has the story on state lawmakers in their response to the ongoing uh, debate. North Dakota House Representative Josh Boucher's letter to officials of Theodore Roosevelt National Park urges them to extend the deadline for public comment for their livestock management plan by 60 days. His letter argues removing the park's horses could hurt the state's tourism industry. He also says public participation in the decision was diminished by the comment period overlapping with the busy holiday season. Boucher is currently working on a resolution addressing the issue to bring to the House. Other state lawmakers voiced support for trying to keep the horses at the park at a Dickinson Chamber of Commerce event. It would be a tragedy to lose uh, something that does draw and has a lot of tourism draw for the state of North Dakota. Attorney General Drew Wrigley also questioned the removal. We manage our modern world sometimes from the standpoint of like, well, how did it begin at the beginning of time? As opposed to, none of us can even remember a time, obviously, when there weren't these beautiful horses out there. And uh, the question will be, are we managing it for the managers or is it being managed for the people that enjoy the park? Christine Command, founder of Chasing Horses Wild Horse Advocates, is happy to see state officials getting involved, but she says it won't be enough. She says North Dakota's federal delegates will have to get involved in order to save the wild horses. Heard us, so they're taking our voice to the floor in, in the form of a resolution, and then they will go to our federal delegates and say, hey, this is what the people of North Dakota are saying, and I would expect that our federal delegates would respond since we voted them in office to be our voice. Mike McGurin, WDAY News. Senator Hoven sits on the National Park Subcommittee in the United States Senate.